Hey, what's up? My name is Andre, and this is my C++ tutorial about the Unreal Engine for events. So normally in blueprints, when you have to add some events, you just print, I mean, you just write down add custom events and you just write its name and do whatever functionality you want. But in C++, you either create your macro, I mean, your, not your own, but the declared macro for that, and there are a few of them, or you use the U function with a certain option for that. And in this video, we'll cover the U function events. So let's go with that. There are two types of U function events, as far as I know. <laughs> For the rest, you can, as you know, just read the documentation and read something about U function or whatever you want. So how to give some info to the editor about a certain functions. All right, so the first one, let's call it on is in zero. And this one will be an implementable event and the second one is on this in zero set some guy where we'll set some guy but in our like C++ so the difference between implementable event and and blueprint native event is Blueprint native event has its own implementation in C++ that you write. And if the if the event is not added to the blueprint, you will use your C++. But if you've added your event to your blueprint, you will only use your blueprint and the C++ will be ignored. And implementable event is simpler one, you just call it, that's it. So if I want to, for example, if, if a certain, let's say, designer uh, is does not need to add it in the blueprint. I can just write a native event and add an implementation. And, all right, I wrote it right. I can just declare it right here. And I can say some guy equals this. All right, and yeah. Now I can just call it if something is in zero. And local Windows debugger. Let's go. And I hope I don't have. Uh, I have in play. Right. Implementation. All right. Get it now. If you have any problems, just check if you wrote the implementation right or your uh, U function uh, options. All right, so now if I go to my actor and okay, so now because I removed the blueprint pure from missing zero, it looked like that, but I go here and just click on actually. I need to call my isn zero because this one is calling my value. And here, the first thing I can do is just after that call a branch. And if it's true, I can print print string and get my sum guy and check out its name. Okay. And I just, this is YouTube actor too. I just set his position to zero and click play. As you can see, I've got my a YouTube actor too. But if I add my um, on this in zero, this one will just run. So I can say print string. Called event just like that. You can see I've got my called event once because only one actor is uh, here, like in the location zero, and because this function only calls if a guy is in zero, then this is called. But you could also see that there's this uh, it actor too. But if I add my event on a zero set some guy.
I print the blueprint implementation and you can see that instead of a YouTube Actor 2, I have my blueprint implementation because if we add this event, we are using it in blueprint so designers can do stuff, but if someone, uh, if for whatever reason uh, the event is not added, we are running the default implementation in C++. So now I can just remove it and again the implementation from C++ is running. So this is it from me for the basic episode. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.